Hi, fourth grade friends. Welcome to Grammar Day 2. We're going to talk through the types of verbs. So we have what we normally would do in our notebook, but I turned it into a digital activity. So first we have our title, Types of Verbs. A verb tells an action or how a noun is, was, or will be. And that's kind of that new part for us too. Remember those linking or helping verbs? So what we have over on this left side, there are six different cards and there's six spots here. So what we're going to do is zoom in on mine because I can't quite see them. But if you can on yours, you don't have to zoom in when it's time. And now I'm looking through and I'm thinking, are these the definitions? Or would they be examples of uh, my um, type of verb? So we're thinking through action verbs, linking verbs, and helping verbs. So let's look. These ones here that say example, give you a hint, are not the examples. That's kind of the definition part to show you that uh, um, these are words you might be looking for. Then the examples we're going to sort out are these uh, ones with just the sentences. So let's look back through first and think. Action verbs. We know that one, right? Action verbs. Let's read through one of our definition ones and see which one is an action verb. Verbs that help the main verb to add to the meaning of the sentence are, had, should, were, or verbs that tell the action that the subject of the sentence is doing, shopping, run, play, laughing, or Verbs that link a noun or pronoun to the rest of the sentences. Is, was, appears, seems. Hmm. Well, I notice only one of those talked about action parts, right? So that makes sense that this is our definition for action verbs. So to do this, what I do is click on it, and then I drag it to that definition box. Now I can go through and figure out all of my definitions first, or I could look through and find my example. I'm going to go on to my example so you can see how we do this. So, action verbs. Verbs that tell the action that the subject is doing. So I'm going to look through these ones and figure out which one are examples of action verbs. I am happy today. They were excited about their trip, field trip. Maggie feels nervous. I don't think so. Those seem more like they're giving some descriptions to it. So I'm going to keep going. The students had learned so many new things about the planets. We have played instruments in our music class. They must clean the cafeteria tables after lunch. Okay, or my teacher reads a book aloud every afternoon. Student council empties the recycling bins every day. Are you sleeping in class? Well, between these three, I notice that these two kind of have other words around the verbs. This one's the only one where it goes straight to that action. Reads, empties, sleeping. So then I would drag this one over to examples. Look at that. So now you just have one, two, three, four more to do. You're going to look through and figure out which of these are linking verbs. Remember, we learned about linking verbs yesterday. Okay? Linking verbs, think through, are verbs that link a noun. And helping verbs are verbs that help. The tricky part's really going to be if deciding between those examples. Okay, friends? So think through, is it linking a noun or is it helping to add meaning? Okay. All right. So what you're going to do is finish sorting those four out and turn in your assignment. And I will take a peek over those. Let me know if you have questions. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for grammar. Bye.